distinguished delegates, colleagues, and friends. It is an honor for me to address you today, and I would like to thank the sponsors and the organizers, Ashraf III and the NCRI Women's Committee for inviting me to participate at this meeting. I'm extremely grateful to all of you for the work that you do, and I thank you for the contributions you make in working towards a democratic and peaceful world. With the rise of authoritarian and undemocratic regimes in parts of the world, the promotion and protection of human rights, fundamental freedoms, and the rule of law demand greater and more urgent attention. The activism and advocacy for a free and democratic Iran is being fought on many fronts by many individuals and organizations. It is humbling to hear about the struggle to escape from all forms of violence and oppression, but also affirming to see how people who have been resettled in Albania continue to strive for a life of dignity. Thank you for including us in your continuing struggle for a democratic Iran. During my tenure as the UN Special Rapporteur, communications were received frequently about Camp Ashraf and Liberty. To keep the UN informed of developments and also requests for action by the international community. The challenges of international diplomacy and the consequent delays in protection and prevention measures is an indictment in many instances. However, the responsibility to protect has led to the relocation and resettlement of Camp Ashraf residents to Albania and is a consequence of local level activism and international interventions underpinned by human rights and humanitarian goals. It is important to acknowledge that women have been instrumental in the struggle, including in leadership positions. Mrs. Rajavi reflect the crucial role that women continue to play the use of international laws, norms, and institutions are part of, as part of a wider strategy for freedom, equality, and dignity in a democratic Iran is also visible in the work of women and men. <laughs> Challenging the use of religion as a justification for curtailing the human rights of women and girls has been an integral part of the work of the larger political struggle of Iranian women in the social justice and liberation movements. For the women of Iran, your struggle against all forms of oppression continue to be supported by many people around the world. Solidarity and support is an asset that one cannot put a monetary value on, and many of us identify with your struggles. Your experiences of human rights violations resonate and reinforce the need to continue solidarity and support. You are not alone. There can be no peace without justice, and no justice without accountability. Thank you.